and I'm back. Look, got me some water. Also, check like at my recording time. It, it's safe to say I'm gonna be past 25 minutes here uh, shortly. Either way, uh, I met a mushroom picker who wants these edible mushrooms that I do not have enough of yet. I miss a spot. Hmm. Let's look down here again. Well, I don't think he has a. No, he doesn't. Oh! You're new. The wife of my friend from the farm knows about the bandits, so she is too scared to go shopping. Oh, I can sell her food I don't eat. Well, I need the food, so... Missed a spot. I was not anticipating uh, fighting them right off the bat, but... Okay. Man, I must be, uh, now seeing stuff that I must have missed earlier. Uh... You know, just for fun, let's take another look down here. You're new. Of course. I'm starting to think that this game is going to be not much more than a point click that you're seeing right now. Unsuccessful, the wounded boar ran into the forest. Well... I'm finding plenty of eggs. I'm starting to think that I didn't miss anything earlier. Uh, things are just, uh, respawning. Nothing wrong with that, but... I feel like I'm going a bit crazy. Uh, he... I'm not gonna read all that. Anyway. Sweet. I was pretty good at it. Once again, I learned something new. As I was fishing, I found some crayfish on the bank. I heard that some people gather them. Sweet. Thank you, my boy. I can take the wood to the mill. Well, let's gather up some food, shall we? Music's getting a bit loud to me again. Hang on a second. Okay. So... Crap. Cook is making dinner. However, mice are jerks. So let's give her some of my supplies. For fame and money. I don't think I'm going to be selling anything to the farmer's wife anytime soon. Oh, 
Okay. Now that we've got the wood, we can bring it to this guy. All that for some gold and fame. Wait, really? No, for the love of egg. Anyway. I need some stones. I need to sleep. And I need to hire some workers. Actually, I should just do this. I think that's a little bit cheaper than... Oh wait, that costs one bread, which is like nine. This costs two fruit, which is... Ah. Okay, I sent correction. Sleeping here is a little more cost effective. Silly me! Alright, so... Are you kidding me? Okay. All that. Just to, uh, just to finish his dude's meal for him. Just play a task, the water mill is finished and ready for operation. All the men I hired did a great job. And they walked away. All the people from the settlement were happy to have a new mill, but the happiest man was a miller who gave me a rich reward. Okay. How much pain do I have? Okay. So I'm eventually gonna need to go back down south for a quest. The miller was worried about his friend who lives in the forest on the other side of the creek. He was supposed to come to visit him a few days ago, but he didn't. Moreover, the miller saw some smoke above the place where his friend lives. I understand his worries. I guess he'll see our burned farm. Alright, so we need to find his friend. That's pretty close. My guess is bandits. Bandits to this. As I came closer to the burnt house, I began to shiver. My PTSD kicked in. Besides the house, I found, I found a wounded miller's, wounded miller's friend. Need some treatment. Here we go again. Oh, right, he doesn't want money. Uh... Because I can always buy more fruit. Jeez, not so much. Yet. Maybe. I took care of the miller's friend. He told me what had happened. As I suspected, this was also the work of his bandits. And I called it. He told me that they had some prisoners. You described the man that could be my father. This is really good. This is really good news. I'm glad that he is alive. Well, it's something. The miller was happy to see his friends. Okay, cool. We had a com conversation over dinner. We agreed that all the things done by the bandits must be revenge. Can that be Evans? Not revenge. Eh, what do I know? The miller's friend said that the bandits were apparently heading to the Dark Forest, which is far in the east. Unfortunately, he doesn't know the way. I'll have to figure it out myself. I will not leave my father alone in the hands of those villains. A 
villager who lives in a small house behind the mill knows that I am looking for rare mushrooms. He wants to talk to me. He wants to show me the secret place where I can find them. He even gave me one to prove he was telling me the truth. I have to do him a favor for him first. Oh boy. The villager wants me to bring a package from his brother who works in the quarry over the mountain pass. It is clear that he is too scared to go himself. Well... Okay. To the end! Wait. Anything else? Nope. Can't look over here. Right. To the end! Halt! Stay where you are, stranger! Oh wow. The music ran tense for a second or two. But then it was just like, eh, you know what, we'll, we'll just calm down here. Carry on. Or not because I'm gonna talk to this dude. This is the way to the west and to the town. It is watched by soldiers, so I am not allowed to pass. No stranger can pass due to bandits. Okay. You didn't understand? The path to the town is closed. I did. I just wanted to annoy you. Well, inadvertently. Either way. I think that... Well, that's good. If I have the money. Let's keep going for the time being, because I don't know if there's a maximum, uh, strength limit. Okay, keep an eye out for this dude's scarf. Oh, we got combat. And eggs. But mostly the combat. That is kind of hard to see. Wow, this is the scarf for my beloved girl. Thank you for finding it for me. No problem. It was only behind a, a feral wolf. The peasant was so happy they gave me almost all of this crap. Well, only it's not really crap. Okay. So I've got another avenue for money if I need it. But it looks like the shops are bounced out to where I can't uh, tease any funds, so... It looks like I should be able to click it, but I can't. Farmer told me that his garden is constantly under attack by boars from the woods. He is desperate. He cannot solve this problem alone. Okay. Small of the boars eat vegetables from the farmer's field. They're quite settled here. I need a hunter with me. Well, uh... I might as well go north. I don't see anything else on the oh, wait. I don't see anything else on the map. So it's another farm. Mostly explorable. Uh some eggs. More eggs, mushrooms, sheep, that I cannot click apparently. Oh, more mushrooms. You look like the guy I need to talk to. There's a sad hunter next to the hunting tower. He told me a story about hunting in the dark forest. Unfortunately, he was forced to leave because bandits came. 
those damn bandits. When I told him about my issues with bandits, he offered me his help. Awesome. I'll come back here, get some sleep, take a drink. Okay, I'm at 25 strength. Now let's take care of these boars. Sweet meat. The farm is satisfied, so he gave me some of his crops and some fame. Still a little short. But what do you sell now? Ooh. Che veggies on the cheap. The best kinds of veggies. Farmer's life's big spread. But she can't sell. Okay. Probably the doll instead of work. Alright. The farmer made a deal with Miller to give him some grain to try the new mill, but it seems that he can't do that on time. I offer to carry the grain to the mill for the farmer. I already know the way, Pablo, and it's a good way to earn some money. Onwards to this guy. I gave the to Miller and he tried his new mill. I see that he is quite happy as he was smiling broadly. He gave me some gold coins and a sack of flour. And the Miller can make flour for me anytime I want. Well, that's good. Yeah, nothing new here. Either way. I need wood. I have none. Come closer, my son. I'm afraid you won't deny help to an old woman. Provide I can provide the help. The old medicaster needs some flowers from the fruit trees which grow all around. She asked me to help her. I could pick flowers. Five baskets should be enough. I need the baskets. Oh yeah, the farmer's happy I delivered his grain to the mill. There's always some more if, if I want. But I don't really need. Well... Oh, too far. I don't have the rare shrooms. Dang it. <laughs> uh, because why not? around here. What do you have to say? He needs me to help him find the sheep? Okay. That's four. Um... That's five. I get easily distracted by these things, don't I? Man, it's just like Skyrim. I get the miracle I managed to beat the main uh, quest. Oh, 
anything. That game was up. There you are. That game was a little bit more exciting than this one, in my personal opinion. Although, this game does have its charms. I brought the lost sheep to the shepherd. He was overjoyed when he saw them. So he gave me some fame and seeds. Joy that he has seen some wolves near the sheep pool a few days ago. He's worried about his sheep. I can probably help him. I have killed some wolves. And I have a partner with me. Thank you for your help, my friend. You're a real hero. Some more cheese and fame. Don't forget to visit the owner of the farm. It will give you a really nice reward. Ah. The farmer, farmer is really grateful that I have helped the, the shepherd protect the sheep. He said that I could buy some cheese or meat for a reasonable price. Here we noted. That's flower. Uh oh. Damn it. Hang on, I need another basket. Okay. Thank you, my son. I couldn't do that because of my old knees. That's understandable. I would I would do that even for free, but the old one insists on giving me a reward. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Looks like I can, I can come to her for slightly cheaper baskets. There's a hunter next to the tower. His name is Brent. He saw my wolf fur. He was surprised that someone like me managed to kill a wolf. He can teach me how to use a bow for hunting if I want to. I have to prove to him that I am ready. I am not ready. I think that's all I can do on these couple of screens for now. So... Help! Help! A ghost! There's a ghost here, and Scooby-Doo is nowhere nearby! Nor is gang. I got things to scavenge first. I don't have the strength! There's a scared man running from the cemetery. He is yelling that he has seen a ghost. Oh, it's just a ghost. There's a ghost hovering above a grave. I feel more and more scared as I come closer. I overcame my fear and approached closer. To my surprise, it's not as scary as I thought. It looks like the ghost is trying to tell me something. His voice disappears in the wind, but I can understand that he is missing his prized catch. Which is amazing because I don't have any sort of amulet of ghost speak. But that would just be silly. Okay, nothing else I can scavenge? Wait. Nothing else I can scavenge? I described my adventure with the ghost to the scared man. It seems that it has calmed him down. He told me that it must be the ghost of, of the poor old Jack, the fisherman. He didn't know him well, so he has no idea what the words could mean. I should ask the local fisherman. They know him much better. Oh, wow. This guy feels suspected. This guy's probably lying. Ah, he used a boost by his beautiful gold ring. And he said that he found it in the water. Oh, man. One second. 
The wife of the bait shop owner is looking at me with some doubts. She asked me why I was so curious about the deceased Jack, and I explained he revealed that she was Jack's sister. I thought that she should know about what's going on what is going at the cemetery, so I told her everything. The poor woman is completely scared. I had no choice but to offer her my help. Okay. Okay, a bunch of fishing stuffs. Okay, I need to find a helper. And, ah, oh, cool, money. The boatmaker lives here. As I was looking at the unfinished boat, a man came out of his cottage and told me that he could make a boat if, if I wanted one. I have to pay for it. Hang on, let me go get some sleep. I gotta admit, I like the whole, I like the uh, resource management aspect of this here point and click adventure. It gives the impression that there's a, that there are limitations to what you can and can't do, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like you can inadvertently softlock yourself. Plus, at the very least, uh, well, outside the whole bandits being jerks to everybody, it's a cozy game, really. And there's also hunting boars, but hey, either way, I need an axe. I can't buy an axe. A worker promised to send a pack to his brother who lives in the settlement close to the water mill. Uh, there should be... Oh. Alright, I'll buy him for ya. Here you go, you thief. I gave him a rope and a torch so he can give it to his brother. This is his reward for helping me with the bridge repair when I needed it. He was really happy. He didn't expect he could gain those things so easily. He packed them immediately. So give it to this guy. He offered me some food and then told me that the rare mushrooms grow on a small place above the bluff south of the settlement. It's hard to get there. Fortunately, he was quite fair and offered me some help. Okay. Let's see if I can find that then. Well, this certainly isn't it. I don't really need to need to hunt again. Wait, that looks like a collectible. Okay. Um. Wait a minute. I was here earlier. Oh, I see, I see. So you made it to the top of the bluff. That's in your security so you can use it on the way back down. And now we have enough mushrooms. Well, prayer mushrooms. 
Hunting the boar. Hunting the wolf. I got the health. 